There's a killer in this aquarium, quiet, cold, and calculating, and also a shrimp. A lot of stories you'll hear are when people set up an aquarium or public aquariums, all of a sudden the next day they come in and a bunch of their fish are missing or a bunch of their lobsters or crabs. And what happens is when they've gotten a bunch of live rock in, rock that's taken from the ocean, because these guys live so tight inside the crevices of the rock that they are in there and you don't even know it. So you buy all this rock, you put it in your tank, you stock it with all your fish and your crustaceans, and then all of a sudden your fish start disappearing. The peacock mantis shrimp isn't a peacock or a mantis or even an actual shrimp, but it is a crustacean which is in the same family as lobsters, crabs, and true shrimps, all of which make for a tasty meal for this colorful killer. It gets its other names from the fact that its tail resembles a peacock's and that its front claws and eyes look like those of a praying mantis. These come from the Pacific Ocean and their nickname is called the thumb splitter. You want to be careful when you're scuba diving or down in the ocean not to put your hands into rocks, into the crevices. These guys live in the crevices and they have uh, really powerful front claws that shoot out and it has the same force as a 22 bullet. That's enough strength to crack a lobster's hard shell or break thick aquarium glass, not to mention some poor zookeeper's fingers. We keep a lid on this tank. When we clean this side of the tank, we um, only use a cleaning sponge on a stick. Now I'll put my hand in there because I'm watching it and I'm real careful, but we would never let a volunteer go in this side of the tank. The mantis shrimp's eyes are considered to be the most complex in the animal kingdom, and they're the only animals in the world with hyperspectral color vision. While we use two to four cone cells to see in color, mantis shrimp use about a dozen. And supposedly they're very intelligent also aside from giving him food and having him chase it around on a stick because he's not a scavenger. That's why we put it on the stick and we have him come out and hunt it just like you would in nature. I'll also fill in his little burrow there every once in a while so that he has to dig it back out. So I just think it's too good enrichment for him.